This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by The Ben Heck Show. Are Hackintosh is reliable? Patrick's buddy Curtis writes in, Apple hasn't released new Mac Pros in a long time, and I just read that they could be releasing new ones within a few months. It's harder than ever to drop a couple of mortgage payments worth on a computer, so I'm wondering if I should consider building a Hackintosh. I think you guys featured a Hackintosh build that Roger did, but that was a while ago, and I'm sure things have changed <laughs> since then. I know it would probably be half the price, but would it be half as reliable also? Curtis. Well. So Curtis is my buddy, does the, the Desert People videos, the truck racing. He does a lot of editing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Mac Pros haven't been updated since 2010. They're expensive for what you get. And that has opened up the door for a lot of DIY folks to build Hackintoshes. If you're not familiar with the idea of a Hackintosh, it's really simple. It's OS 10 machines that run on standard PC hardware. You build them yourself. So Curtis says his five-ish year old Mac Pro with uh, two 2.8 qu gigahertz quad-core Xeons and 10, 10 gigabytes of memory is fine for several 720p DVC Pro, but starts to choke on 1080p and definitely chokes with 2K or 4K footage from red cameras that gets sent to him. So mm -hmm. I'm going to add one thought here. Apple finally updated Final Cut Pro just before NAB, the National Association of Broadcasters, uh, big meetup in, in uh, Vegas a couple weeks ago. Some rumor mongers online say that's the tip off. That's the tip. That's that means they're going to release a new Mac Pros. I ain't buying it. Look. We actually gave up on Final Cut and MacBook, excuse me, and Mac Pros back in Jan. We got a lot of MacBook Pros. Mac Pros, we gave up on them in January. We gave up on Final Cut in January. As of CES, Techzilla, and everything else at Revision 3 is edited with Adobe Premiere running on Windows. Now, Hackintoshes. If your computer is how you make your money professionally, I'd think twice before building a Hackintosh. Our AP Michael runs one at home and uses it for video editing, but there are definitely times when software updates or other quirks break the install. Break it as in it won't boot, Scotty. Oh, You're going to have to fix it before you can do any work. If it's okay for your OS X install to be down for a few days until you have time to fix it, then by all means. Mike says he doesn't mind the hassle of keeping up the Hackintosh because of a few things. One, it was super cheap compared to a Mac Pro. Think comparable performance for half the price. Yep. That's a big drop. Mac Pros, you server motherboard, stuff like that, you don't need the high-end server stuff. You just need a regular consumer motherboard. Two, the flexibility of components and graphics cards is great with Hackintosh. Three, Mike enjoys spending hours trying to fix computer problems anyway, which is why we love him so much here at Techzilla. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, that's something to be aware of. Basically, like, accidentally updating before your Hackintosh is ready to be updated to that new operating system update mm -hmm. can really make your life miserable. So you have to be cautious and careful. Now, if you've decided that the potential time sink is worth it for you, Tony Mac X86 is a really good resource for getting up and running. The site has all of the tools and information for building a working and running Hackintosh. Really useful is the custom Mac builds that give you a parts breakdown for compatible components. So basically, you have a parts list, and you basically you, you pick a motherboard, and you select all of the parts. Once you have all the parts, you can follow one of their in-depth guides. Um, they are fun to build. They are amazing. They are awesome if you want more power than you can get out of an inexpensive OS X box. But if you're in a production environment, they can get a little frustrating. Yeah. Yeah. I would say probably just stick with a, a regular, regular old Mac for that kind of stuff. Right. Unless you're Michael, in which case. Go well, for it. Uh, and we have a lot of people. We have a lot of friends who built Hackintoshes. They're mm -hmm. pretty happy with it. Everything works until it doesn't, and then if it doesn't, you got to fix well, it. Well, video editing too is already so finicky. Like there's already so many things that can go wrong in that type of environment. That for me, it's like minimizing the impact of potential disasters when it comes to to having a machine. Uh, there's a fix at? for that. What's that? Adobe Premiere. Well, which okay. you can see if I didn't have flash turned off. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, then, yeah. I mean, if you if you prefer it, but I'm just saying. Yeah. I, I just know a lot of people that are just giving up on Final Cut. All it's right. a thought. Join modding wizard Ben Heck and friends as they build and modify a host of amazing community-inspired creations. Be sure to watch new episodes of the Ben Heck Show each week right here at revision3.com/tbhs. In the latest episode of the Ben Heck Show, Ben works on a new mail detection device. Check out element14.com slash tbhs for a chance to win the latest builds from Ben's show.